everybody! Welcome back to Higurashi no Naku Koroni. In the last episode, we, uh... I don't remember, actually. Oh, you know what I do remember? It was another damn freaking card game. It was President. I don't remember anything else because it was all very, very not scary or important. I'm assuming because none of that chapter was scary or really important that this time we're going to get something dark. I hope, because... We went through all of October without any dark shit happening, so... A few days had passed since the incident. Which incident, dude? During that time, either Mion was busy or Rikachan had to help with the festival preparations, so we couldn't get everybody together for club activities. Okay. Even though I thought I would never want to participate again after the years it shaved off my each, each, each of my lifetimes, or all shaved off my life each time, not having it only made my heart grow fonder. I really am not honest with myself. I should have grabbed a water bottle before this. Today we finally had our club activities again. There weren't the same old club activities. These weren't the same old ones. They, it was called the Watanakashi 5 Demon Firefight. And it was one of the biggest events in the club. Okay. Oh, we're at home. Keiichi. Does that yukata still fit you? Can you, can you try it on for a second? Mom pulled out an old, dusty yukata. Nah, I don't need a yukata. Those are embarrassing, so I'll just go in my normal clothes. But this is a festival. Wear it, okay? Ren and the other said regular clothes are just fine. If I was the only one wearing a yukata, it'd be more embarrassing. I'd put it on the same old. I put on the same old vest as usual. I'll be going with Ren and the others. So you don't need to worry about me. Is that so? I'll be going with Dad when he wakes up. Dad let out a loud snore from the sofa. From how it looks, he might have pulled an all-lighter last night. He just finished sending in his manuscript. Oh, you can see a shadow of me up there in the corner. Hey, hello, myself. Anyways, he just finished sending the manuscript, sending in his manuscript, so he might not wake up for a while. It seems my dad writes for art magazines sometimes, too. I've never read it, though. I wonder if my dad is a really famous artist. Since his own son is saying something like that, I can't imagine he's selling all that well. But he's actually able to free feed a family of three, and my life isn't exactly full of hardships. It could be that he's some master painter and I just didn't know about it. Friends? Hello? Keichikan, are you home? Uh-oh, it was already that time? I didn't want them to come in here, so I was planning to leave early and waiting outside. <laughs> Who's here? Oh, oh my, it's Renachan. Thank you for always looking after Keiichi. Uh, ma'am, he's also been looking out for... Why are you blushing just meeting my mom? Don't get all flustered. It really doesn't feel right. Let's go, Rena. <coughs> Since Rena would continue to space out if I left her here, I grabbed her hand and dragged her out. Like a man. Women could do that, too. I'm not being sexist, I swear, I promise. Renichon, like have a for me. Uh, yes, ma'am. Even if it means I must sacrifice myself. Then why don't you do it right now? She weighed back as even as I was dragging her away. Hoping the mic picks me up properly. Okay, Keichan. You hungry today? We'll take care of the, uh, take that at the stalls. You thought I'd let myself get full knowing the club activities will involve the stalls? Wouldn't have it any other way. Where are Rikachan and Totoko? Oh, where's my mouse? Are they already at the temple? Yep, Rikachan's a festival committee member after all. Sotoko's probably with her as well. I see. Alright. Let's make some noise today. Yeah! We're already in high spirits with just the three of us here. Where's the scary shit? It was way more lively at the Fruited Day Shrine than the last time I came, far exceeding my expectations. Thro- Okay, at first I was about to read it as thongs, but uh, that's throngs. Throngs of people were crammed between rows of market stalls lined with colorful pa paper lanterns. Despite that, it was actually quite enjoyable. What kind of word is throngs? I'll have to Google that later. There sure are a lot of people here. I can't believe they all live in Hinamizawa. <clears throat> <coughs> 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 
Everybody attends the Watanagashi. I think about half the village is here. It's not just that. Municipal and youth councils from neighboring towns and villages advertise this event as well. That's right. There aren't many students at our school. But there are a lot of kids here today. It just doesn't feel like a festival unless there are kids running around after all. That's true, I guess. Uh, hello and good evening. These two knew everybody who we came across. Of course, I greeted them as well, but I still wasn't familiar with everybody's yet. Okay, one second, let me... Let me adjust my headset, because it's being weird on my head. This, like, there's, like, a corner stabbing my head. Alright, I think that's a bit better. These headphones are getting destroyed. Man, I have to buy a new one soon. Of course, I greeted them as well, but I still wasn't familiar with everybody yet. Oh, Renachan. Thanks for the food you bought me a while back. My son loved it. He said it was delicious. Ah, it was nothing at all. I'm glad he liked it. Say hello to Cosmos Kun for me, please. Hey, if it isn't the Sonozaki Ojochan. I'm in charge of a stand again this year, so make sure. Whoa, I missed something. So make sure you come visit. Pops, have you gotten fatter? You'll end up having a heart attack with a gut like that. Oh, this kid here is new. <coughs> Are you one of her underclassmen? He's one of my members. An upcoming hopeful. If you cross him, he could crush your stand in one night. You got Little Missy's seal of approval, I see. Hope you take it easy on me. As you could imagine, Mian was chatting away with the old guys running the stalls. Michan is really energetic, after all. She's really popular with older men. Maybe that's why she calls herself old man all the time. I think Rena is pretty popular, too. <coughs> Being cute and all. That was, of course, so long as her little condition didn't flare up. But as long as she's blushing quietly, she's pretty cute. <laughs> uh, I'm popular with some people? Really? Really? With some people. I evaded giving her a straight answer by roughly tussling her hair. <coughs> the stall keepers came all the way from town. Not really a festival without them, after all. So, we're gonna mess with them now? I don't care what kind of match it is. I'm going to win it. Oh, yes. Uh, I'll try it, too. Oh, there's a duck. Hey! You're all very late. It's unacceptable to keep a lady waiting, Keiichi-san. Oh, my bad. So, where's this lady I've kept waiting? Uh, what, what did you just say? Alright, Zadoko was in top form as well. Seems she was all excited about being able to get everybody in the club together for the first time in a while. Whoa, Rika-chan, cute! Is she wearing a, one of those... Uh, oh wait, uh, Rena let out an elated sigh. I'm assuming she's wearing a shrine maiden outfit. Come on, let's see it. It seemed like the lady, real lady had made her appearance. Let's see it. Hey! Good evening, everyone. Good evening to Keiichi-san as well. Why am I not part of everyone? The snake shit. Woo! Looking good. <coughs> You're looking sharp again this year. <coughs> Cute! Gonna take you home. <coughs> Rikushan was wearing a Shrine Maiden outfit. <coughs> yep. Rena's little outburst was completely understandable. Rikushan's clothes sure look like the real deal. Is that a real Shrine Maiden outfit? My grandmother made her made them by hand. They're quite authentic. <coughs> Rikachan has an important task to do at the end of the festival, so she's wearing this. I see Rikachan was one on the executive committee because she performed all the Shrine Maiden rituals for the festival. My work is only during the finale of the festival. So I can still play for a while. But we cannot afford to waste any time. Begin! Let us begin. All right! It felt good to wander around the festival with just the five of us. Mion called everyone over to a stand that caught her attention and proposed a rather odd competition. <coughs> Takoyaki eating race. Everyone has to buy their own. Ready? Go! As standard inventor stalls, the Takoyaki stand. 
What was essentially standard for these kind of events was the fact that they were simply balls of dough, takoyaki in name only. <laughs> it burns! <coughs> Are you okay, Keiji kun? <laughs> Have some water. <coughs> my, my, eating those scalding takoyaki whole is suicide. I guess the trick to buy the ready-made ones that have been left there for a while. <coughs> they really don't taste good. So what's the point of buying them? Waste. The stall next to the shaved di it's the the next stall next to it was the shaved ice stand. Man, I want some takoyaki now. I've never had it before. I hear there's octopus in it. I want to try. Uh, it was still a bit too early in the season for that, but right then, but then right then it didn't matter. Let's do shaved ice this time. It's a shaved ice eating race. Ready? Go! <coughs> shaved ice eating race? I, I can't. As long as you can melt it a bit in your bot with your body heat, then it is so cold. <coughs> Not smart. This old man's ordered with plenty of syrup. It melt it'll melt quick quickly when it's mixed up. Those stooges were too late. The moment they chose to tackle it head on, I was it was their downfall. Pew! Finished! <laughs> K-chan is done? That was too fast! It it couldn't be. Keichikun, you didn't add water from the goldfish tank behind you, did you? Ew! <laughs> that can't taste very good. I'm a savage. <laughs> Next to that was another old favorite. A cotton candy stand. Oh yeah, this is my shit. This is my shit. If you've ever been to a festival with me, if you if you know me, and if we've gone to like Canada Day or like Victoria Day together, Rashomon, Rawajanoi, you guys know, cotton candy is my shit. If you watched, uh, I think it's like my first or second God Eater video, you would know. The cotton candy is my shit. I love cotton candy. Pure sugar. Pure sugar. Fluffy sugar. I want to buy a cotton candy machine so bad. Let's continue. Why don't we do this one next? <coughs> of course, it's the speed eating contest. Cotton candy, though? Hey, hey, hey how do you eat cotton candy quickly? How? On Tsutoko's mark, me and Tsutoko and I all compressed their cotton candy with our bare hands. The time it took to stick the whole thing in our mouths, three seconds. I expected Tsutoko to figure it out, but I didn't think Kainchan would too. I can't do you have you treating me like a newbie forever, can I? <laughs> it won't taste very good. Is that a catchphrase today? Mikachan also crushed it between her hands and stuck it in her mouth. This is probably the only place in Japan where people eat cotton candy, cotton candy like this. I think only Rena's cotton candy was happy with how it was eaten. But it felt like we'd end up doing stuff like eat noodles through the nose contest or human water pump at the goldfish scoop at this rate, the rate we were going. This old man will probably still win too. I ain't simply no, it, I am simply no match for me on sun when it comes to eating repulsive things. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> What's up with you guys? Are you telling me you don't want to have a blue Hawaii topped yakisoba eating contest? Shake, shake, both Sissoko and I shook our heads in unison. <coughs> uh, um, can we have a game that doesn't involve food this time? Can we? <sighs> Rena's proposal, proposal was godsend. It's about time you played a different kind of game. <clears throat> it also seemed like neither Rena or Rikachan were any good at speed eating or gorging themselves. Okay, Rena, I'll let you pick out the next game. Anything is fine. Well then, well then. I'm going to be the judge. Find cute things on the festival grounds. You have one minute. Fine by me. I know exactly what Rena likes. Alright. I think I can win that with that. Ready? Go! Mian and Totoko dashed off madly, but Rikachan and I calmly stayed right where we were. Could it be? You already found it? The cute thing? We've already found it. Keiichi too? Yeah. 
What is it? What is it? I can't wait! Both Rikuchan and I stood motionless for those few moments of our Miyana Totoko returned. This is probably the first time. We've gone head to head like this. It will be the first. Rikuchan, you expect to win with that, huh? Oh, I am member. I am a member of this club as well. Win by any means in our is our society's third rule. Rikuchan sneered to the best of her ability. <laughs> You're on. Both Mian and Sudoku came back, each with their own plan of attack stuffed in their arms. Okay then, okay then, let's go in order. Let's start with the club president, Mitan. Too bad, you guys. I'm ending this now. This old man brought this. <coughs> Where did you get those? <coughs> they were old tin diamond-shaped signs. Pleb curry, snake oil incense, and oromenin sea. <coughs> How about this? That's very understated. A little too understated, Mion. I used to see those stuck up on barbed wire fences. They were more nostalgic than cute. <coughs> Can you explain what part of that is cute? But there were puffs of smoke noisily shooting out of Rena's ears and nose, almost like a steam train. <coughs> I didn't get it. I shall be up next. Osotoko? It is this. It was the hand-drawn poster from the Lady Society Roasted Corn Stall. It was a really bad sketch done by a housewife. An anthropomorphic roasted corn drawn without any sort of real plan, its very existence invited a sense of sorrow to the viewer. Bleep. She found that cute? What the fuck? That was the sound of blood jetting out of Rena's nose. It seemed to have been rated higher than Meon's. I really didn't get it. <clears throat> it feels like your artistic sense is a little, a little avant-garde by about five eons. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Those are nothing but mass-produced signs, after all. They had no chance of, against something hand-drawn. I couldn't even begin to follow the way you guys are, those guys were thinking. Then I will be next. So, Togo. Next is Rikushan, is it? Or Rika. What can you even do without anything? Did you and Satoko both forget? If Rikuchan felt like it, she could simply... After moving back about 10 yards, she began waddling up to Rena. Seeing that, both Mion and Satoko gasped. Oh no. <clears throat> Too late. Rikuchan tripped over her nothing and laid motionless after falling down. Rena hurried over to her. Rikuchan, are you alright? Alright? Rikuchan had a lump on her forehead and tears welling up in her eyes. Only her fingers peeked out from her sleeves. This was the vital part. The palms of her hands were covered by her sleeves. She made just a single sound. Mew. Cute, cute, going to take you home. I'll com I'd completely forgotten that. The play that I personally had to use. Rena's face went completely red, her head popping back and forth with excitement. Her she embraced Rikuchan and began rubbing her cheek against her. <clears throat> I'd expect no less from her. Not a single element was overlooked. Lolly. Shrine Maiden. Brink of crying Mew. It was perfect. A simple trip transcended into pure Moe. Now this is what you call art. K-chan was a pretty def weird definition of art. I'll just pretend the sharp, st uh, sharp sting of those words cutting through me like a razor was a figment of my imagination. Rikachan turned her gaze toward me with a daunting smile. She ca was caressed by Rena, who was in full cute mode. <clears throat> now, Keiichi, can you beat me? <coughs> <coughs> that cold smile is frightening, Rikachan. It must be just my imagination, but I see a demon inside her sometimes. Keichan seems to have his own plan of attack. I wonder what he's going to show her. I also wish to observe the play Ke Keiichi san will make. Could it be? Is Keiichi also going to give a performance? I basked in their pointless, pointed stares. I pulled Rena, and who gave no sign of canceling out the cute mode, away from Mikachan. <clears throat> How? <clears throat> cute thing, cute thing. 
Keiji can let's go! I'll show you something even cuter, so just hold on for now. Huh? Oh? Is this something even cuter? But it's too crowded here. Let's go back there. I pulled her behind the shrine. Uh, Rena looked very surprised as I pulled her behind the shrine. I cannot fathom what Keiji-san could possibly be pe planning. <laughs> this is Keichan, after all. No, it couldn't be. <clears throat> Keep on fighting. <coughs> yeah! Whoa, wait, what did that say? I have to roll the... The thing. Well, keep on fighting. Yeah! After a bit, I returned. And after a bit after that, so did Rena, dragging her feet. <clears throat> There's no way that scoundrel Keichan did something to innocent little Rena. Miyano Tsutoko passed by me, heading straight to Rena. <sniffs> what exactly did he do to you? For a moment, Rena was too dazed to realize someone was talking to her. <laughs> <coughs> Gasp! <laughs> oh, 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 it's Michan. Oh, Rena. Are you all right? Did Keichan do anything to you? No, he didn't do anything strange to me. How? What did I do? This is quite severe. <coughs> exactly. What did Keiji-san show you? <coughs> uh, it was so cute. Oh. You, what did he show you, Rena? <clears throat> Rena let out a really long howl. Her eyes sparkled as she spoke. Cute, so cute, it was cagey cuns. Furry little seal. Whip! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, the way she wore it, it was penis! Definitely! Womp! In the blink of an eye, Mian and Sudoku's apple smashed into my face. Huh? How? What? What? Showing Rena something so dirty. You sick pervert! I shall have you beaten into oblivion! <clears throat> Wait, you've got it all wrong! A dark billowing aura flowed from Miyana to Toko. It was no good. They're gonna kill me. Michan, I'm not sure what's going on, but you've got it all wrong. You see, Keiji Kun had. It's a first seal keychain. Rena Mikachan stuck her hand into my pocket and pulled out the keychain. Eh? <coughs> he said it. He said he made it long ago for one of his summer school assignments. He said he doesn't show it to others often because it's embarrassing. Yeah. So small and cute. He tried his best to make it. It's so wonderful. Oh, oh. This old man thought you meant it was Cage's cute little fur seal. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <coughs> I'd expect no less from me, Onsan. You misconstrued anything, uh, things in the wildest ways. They slung insults at each other and looked like they were ready to tear into each other at any second. I beg of you. If I'm in the clear, would you mind getting off of me? We are interrupted by the flash of a camera. It's him! Tomitake, hey guys. Tomitake-san? Sup, boy? You all seem energetic as usual. It was Tomitaki-san. <coughs> As I lay crumpled on the ground, Mion and Satoko continued to bicker above me. Rika was patted, patting me on the head, and Rena was still in cube, cute mode. I read that as cube mode. Naruto shit. It was probably quite a lively scene. <coughs> it's a fine evening indeed, although it's rather poor etiquette to photograph a lady without her permission. <coughs> That's right. At least you don't really need Satoko's permission. Alright! Satoko dug her heels into me. Good evening. Ah, you're heading back tomorrow. Aren't you? Were you able to take lots of good photos? Thanks to you. <coughs> I got plenty of good shots. Tonight's the last uh, that we can, we, get, we can see of Tomitaki-sama, isn't it? 
It's such a shame. Hurry up and have your major breakout soon. Just as rude as ever, aren't you? I really am sad I won't be able to hear the voice of yours for almost half a year. <laughs> be sure to have as much fun as you can tonight. You'll be back in Tokyo tomorrow, after all. That's true. It will be another six months. <coughs> until I can enjoy another night where I can see the stars. <coughs> Tomitaki-san looked up at the night sky cheerfully. At that moment, even even though he was smiling, I seemed to I, I sensed a bit of sadness. Why don't you move here, Tomitaki-san? In Hinamizawa. Tomitaki-san was speechless. It's not very convenient here. No shops or recreational spots. There might not be anything really here, but you know, everyone knew what I was trying to say. Tomitaki-san was also well aware. So Rena, Mion, Sotoko, and Rika-chan, none of them were butted in. None of them butted in. I've only been here for less than a month, so I don't really know everything about it. <coughs> normally, I'm really, I'm not really. A, I, normally, I'm a really talkative guy, but in situations like this, I'm at a loss for words. Even though all this was happening in such a boisterous setting. It felt like the background noise was fading into the distance. This place is probably... Tobidaki-san rested his hand on me, gently silencing me. Thank you. Keichi-kun. Mian-chan and Rena-chan. Satoko-chan and Mika-chan. Tobidaki-san's smile was so slight it looked as if it was going to crumble at any minute. But it was warm. I also think it would be great if I could live here. Those might have been cruel words coming from a kid who didn't need to worry about working the fee fee to feed himself. <clears throat> a hand touched my back. It was Rena. Cajun, you shouldn't pick on adults. It's not nice. The background climber of the festival returned. We won't be seeing him for a while after all. We need to make sure Tomitaka-san also enjoys the night. When Rena smiled, the mood instantly got brighter. That's true. I think I'll do just that. <laughs> ah. Hey, me, John. How about it? Can we let Tomitaki-san in our club activities? That's a great idea. Or so I thought, but Mion had a snobbish look on her face. One of those requirements for membership is residence, residence in Hinamizawa, you see. <clears throat> Come on, Michan. Just for today, don't be mean. Well, he does come often every year. I'll make him an honorary citizen. <coughs> Whoa, yay! Now then, I wonder if this aged fellow will pass his prime will be a match for me. Let's have him show us the wisdom of a mature adult. <laughs> Can you keep up with us youngins? Tommy Daxon set back slightly at our audacious grin. <laughs> I, Mian Sonazaki, club president, do hereby authorize... Whoa, I didn't mean to right-click that. Honor, uh, authorize honorary citizen Tomitake, uh, Tomitake's entry into our club. Her words were quickly drowned out by our tears. <coughs> well, what do you mean by club? What our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities with various rules. Sometimes they are in your favor, and sometimes they work against you. I'm pretty weak, so I'd prefer not to see you not signal me out. Let's try to get along. If you wish to mock our childish games, then this will be the perfect opportunity. We'll leave you with nothing. We won't even leave the hairs on your butt. <laughs> <coughs> so it's a club where you, we play games together. Of course, Rigachan was the only one who could give an answer that made sense. Alright, just what I wanted. I'll take you up on that challenge. <coughs> Don't be too rough on me, my mentors. <laughs> Tomodaki-san got riled up and did a victory pose like he was 10 years younger. <coughs> That's perfect. <coughs> Having another boy with us is sick. We continued walking through the festival with me on in the front. Now we look like a family of six. It had some intensity to it. <coughs> Same rules as always. Lose your will, of course. Be subject to a penalty. Tomodaki-san was a bit surprised, but to us it was the same as usual. Regardless of how terrible a penalty it was. Just don't lose. Rena was also brimming with determination. She didn't have any intent of losing. That's true. <coughs> I trusted Rena's hair to lighten the mood. 
uh, she, uh, well, she giggled to hide her embarrassment. Well, my eyes fucked. I see this is what it means to feel like a kid again. Tomi Nagasan whispered that to nobody in particular. At that moment, we heard an old man call out in a strong voice. Looking over, I realized it was the man Mian had greeting right before the festival. You're here. Little Miss Sonazaki. Seems you've brought right the crowd. We came to eradicate your entire stall. His stall was a shooting gallery. It was the usual setup where you had to knock down the prize you wanted with a cork gun. The rules are simple. Three shots, the winner is whoever gets the biggest prize. Everyone shattered their agreement. There was no need to consider how to win, since the condition for victory was simply size. The biggest prize of the stall, it went without question. It was, it was that one, wasn't it? Whoa, that teddy bear, cute! <clears throat> Rena was gazing longly at the large stuffed animal. It was, an in it was intentionally placed on an unsteady platform, so it was possible to get it if you hit the right spot. Where is this teddy bear? I don't see it. Oh, well, of course, change the fucking angle of the camera. It was magnificently, magnificently set up to make someone think that. <laughs> Not bad, Keiji-san. I figured you would see through his, this scam instantly. Hmm, the most logical course of action would be to aim for some candy or a doll. <laughs> the intent analysis has already begun. In this club, you'll get eaten alive if you don't come prepared. Everything hinges on what pl plan you can come up with before the main event. At some point, a large crowd had gathered around us, making a big fuss. There was as much of a following for our club's infamous event. Knocking that bear down ensures a win. Only three shots. To use them all just trying, that'd be rough. Hey, I have an other customers waiting, you know. Who's up first? <coughs> the first one has the advantage of being able to aim for the easier prizes, but it's dangerous to complete, compete without knowing the gun's quirks. <coughs> Tomitaki-san ta takes a take on the situation was pretty good. He, he gets what our club is about. Alrighty, that's my boy Tomitaki-san, let's go. Well then, to be fair, how about using rock, paper, scissors to decide? How about it? That's really the only way. Rock, paper, scissors! <coughs> After a couple of matches, it ended with Mion being first. I didn't want to end up first. Ah, uh, well. How do you think? I'll just uh, think of it as a handicap. Gramps, gun! Here you go! When the shocking range guy handed her a rifle... Uh, the shooting range guy, why did I read it as shocking? The shooting range guy handed her a rifle. Mion took it over intently. She didn't forget to check the cork bullet either. Okay. This gun is brand new, isn't it? No faults, not bad. Mion raised the gun in one swift motion. It was completely different from her careful inspection. She was shooting from the hip. Fire. Reload. Fire. Reload. Fire! Flop. <coughs> flop, flop. Three candy boxes fell, one after the other. A big haul! The crowd paused in a moment of awe and then erupted in cheers. Whoa! Awesome! That was quite good. Tomitaki-san was at a loss for words after seeing such shooting prowess. Amazing, Michan! Three! Three! Her accuracy was incredible. Her choice of targets weren't bad either. The three Mion had gone after were fairly large and pretty easy to knock over. They were all targets with very high, very high return on investment. <clears throat> Who's up next? Satoko? Careful, the bullets are light. Next was Satoko. The rifle looked like a bit like a bit big for her little body, but it didn't seem like she had any problem with the weight. <coughs> of course, I shall aim for the grand prize. She proclaimed that she was going after the teddy bear. Damn, Satoko, such a bold move. The moment she knocks it over, she's guaranteed to be first. Good luck, Satoko-chan. Sotoko was the opposite of Mion. She aimed at the quite target quite carefully and squeezed the trigger. B 
Ah, these bullets are too light. The first two bullets struck the bear on the torso, but only shifted a bit. You need to aim higher towards the head or it won't work. <coughs> so Doko's third bullet wasn't aimed at the bear, but at the candy box below its arm. I hate to say it, but it appears the bear is just too much for me. She went boldly after the big catch, but since she switched over to less impressive prey at the last second, Greta only gave a strained laugh. <laughs> Were they laughing because she lacked the courage? These fools knew nothing. A fine attempt, Sotoko. You've gotten better. <clears throat> the palm of Mion's outstretched hand went pump as it tapped down lightly on Sotoko. She appeared to just be talking hot air, but this was actually completely calculated. <clears throat> Damn, that Sotoko. Just to avoid being in the last place, she dared to switch over to an easy target. <coughs> Without shame or honor. Magnificent. I'll allow you to take the bear, Renaissance. I pray for your victory. Okay, okay. Thanks so much, Toko chan How bears are so cute. Rena was up next. She couldn't hit the broad stride of a barn as regular Rena, but she said, but she said the bear was cute. Cute mode. I wonder how Rena chan will do. I hope she's able to hit at least one. You're underestimating Rena, told me Takisan. <laughs> <coughs> it's Rena, you know. It's Rena Ryugu, you know. If it was to get that teddy bear. Whoa! Tomitaki-san wheeled around to see what the commotion the spectators were making was about. <coughs> it was the, it, if, she, if it was about to get that bear, she'd be able to shoot through a pinhole. The one known as Rena Ryugu could do it. <coughs> shaking it, shaking! How cute! <coughs> Rena couldn't hide her excitement over the bear's sh slow rocking. Now Rena couldn't lose. Not bad, Renaissance. The less collected you became, you become the stronger you get. It fell over. Whoa! Another big cheer. Rena's bullet hit the bear bo bear's forehead again. Not enough. The bear seemed to wobble more than before. But it might not be possible. Y you never know. With Renachan's skill, it might be. While Tomitaki-san was just as excited at the cr as the crowd, Rikachan's analysis was not swayed by emotion. If Rena had ten more shots, she could have surely knocked. She could surely knock it over. But just one more, no matter how you looked at it, no go. Ow! The crowd let out a dejected groan. She had shot it right in the forehead three times. It was a bit late, but they gave her a good round of applause for the attempt. Oh, she's in last place because she got nothing then, right? <laughs> oh, Bear-san, take him home. She should be praised for her valor, but she had no trophies to show for it. Then at that moment, the old man flicked one of the candy boxes with his fingers and handed it to Rena. This for you, little lady. Huh? You're giving this to me? The gods wouldn't forgive me if I let you go home empty-handed after such a display. There was another shower of applause. Rena turned bright red and I pulled her back uh, uh, back over to us by her hand. You did a good job. Your cute mode really surprised me. Ha, I really wanted the little Mr. Bear. Oh. It was easy to see that it only needed a little more to be knocked over. Rena had done quite a lot for me. I still needed to pay her back for the delicious picnic. Alright, then I'll. I'll get it and give it to you. Tomitake-san! You're trying to steal our home? Boy! <laughs> Tomitake-san has stolen the words right out of my mouth. Okay, okay. Please, Tomitake-san. Good luck. Damn you, old man Tomitake! Stealing the good parts for yourself! A small hand just over and fell gently on my head just before I was overwhel overcome with frustration. You keep on fighting too, Keiichi, okay? Tomitaki-san carefully studied the bear. Setting his sights, he shouldered the rifle while holding the other two shots in his hand. <clears> hmm? <throat> Why is he doing that? <clears throat> yes, no doubt. Tomitaki-san is aiming for... Whoop! This 
This time between shots, the time between shots was short. It was meaningless to shoot again once it stopped shaking. So Tobidaki was relying on rapid fire to win the battle. It was visibly wobbling much more than it ever had before. But that was all. It didn't fall over. Aw, too bad. Oliver and his momentary expectations from watching it sway violently turned into a dejected sigh. Mm, I really thought it would work. Oh ho ho! It seemed that since you're a man, you will not be receiving any candy. That was it. It meant Tomitake had no spoils of war. So both k John and mika can just shoot down a small easy prize and avoid being dead last. Avoid being the loser, huh? Oh, sorry about that. It's your turn next, Keijikun. Best of luck. I was the fifth shooter. I took the rifle from Tomitaki-san. <coughs> if I took the ruthless route, as Mion had suggested, then I'd go for a small target. Except... When I picked up the rifle, I definitely got a feeling from it. It was burning passion that I am not a little bitch boy. <laughs> Passed down to me by Tomitake-san. The regret of not being a man enough to fell the bear that Rena wanted. <laughs> yes, that's right. If I didn't aim for that bear, then I wouldn't be a man. <coughs> after that, after all, that was my promise. To Rena. Huh? Huh? What? Promise? What? <coughs> to shoot down that bear. Then give it to Rena. That one. <laughs> Uh, uh, you mean ha? Uh... The crowd went wild when they saw our conversation. Woo, boy! Cool, Onichan. <laughs> I got you. You got balls, man. <laughs> That's not it, fine men of the crowd. If I didn't do this, then Rena might mug the old man running the stall on his way home. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not at all. Why can't I express my honest feelings? Cage on truly talks the talk. But how do you actually intend to bring the, down the bear? Rena and Tomitake shots did make it a tilt a little bit, but I think finishing the job will be difficult. Keichikun. If only there was some way to shoot faster, I'd be able to pile more power on the sway from each hit. Good luck, Keichikun. After taking two deep breaths, I shouted over to the guy. Two more rifles. Huh? The crowd murmured amongst themselves. I wonder what Kaichi is up to. One person can't handle three rifles at once. <coughs> I get it. Nice thinking, Keichi kun or Keichan. Mian was able to figure it out magnificently. Basically, what was taking the most time was reloading the shot. That's right. Then by putting three re preloaded rifles next to each other, Tomitaki-san went silent, peering at me in the bear through the lens. His photographer blood predicted a miracle will occur. And then the crowd finally picked up on what was what I was planning. They let out a great cheer. They chanted my name, Keiichi! <coughs> Rapid fire is the key! <coughs> if I miss, all is for naught. Whew. After letting out a deep breath, I pause. Relax. Now! That moment, it felt like time itself had stopped. I felt like I could see the trajectory of the bullets. This is some sort of online, gun gale online shit. Hit it. And knock it down! First shot hit the bear on the head. The second. The third. <coughs> the bear swayed hard. And then. It didn't topple over, did it? Don't be a snake. Whoa! Yeah! I did it! Oh, shit! The tears began before the stuffed animal even finished falling off the shelf. The guy caught it before it hit the ground and tossed it over to me. You actually knocked it over. You got me. 
<laughs> yeah, boy! Amazing! Congratulations, Keiji-kun! <laughs> Keiji-san has finally learned how to use his head. I see you in a slightly better light now. Everyone hit it in those small bit. No, I didn't do it all by myself. Everyone hit it, and those small bits together brought it down. This trophy belongs to all of us. Right, this is from all of us working together. Me didn't hit it a single time. Erk. After holding up the teddy bear like it was a championship trophy, I handed it to Rena. <clears throat> Here. This is from me. No. From everyone. Thanks for always making your delicious lunches. <laughs> Rena, thinking she was never actually going to get it, was momentarily speechless. I can't, Keiji. This is everyone's after all. How? In that case, I was the one who knocked it down. And it's mine. It's mine, so I'm giving it to Rena. I stuffed this plush, uh, stuffed animal towards her again. This time, she embraced it and accepted it. You've watched out for me ever since I moved here, after all. I'm really grateful, you see. Thanks a lot. How? Keiji-kun! Thank you so much! Oh! Rena dove at me. Mian told me a few days later that Rena kissed me, but I didn't realize it during all the excitement at the time. WHERE'S THE SCARY SHIT?! Fucking 45 minutes already through the episode! No scary shit! I remembered what I was trying to say to Tomitaki-san earlier. There really isn't much of anything here. But there's a lot of things you can't find anywhere else. I gained a lot from coming Hinami to Hinamizawa. Especially at that moment. The crowd's cheers echoed on and on. <clears throat> from the altar set up in front of the shrine, the drums sounded with a booming echo. <coughs> it was the finale of the festival. I'll be going off ahead then. Bye, Rika-chan. Uh-oh. I need to go and get myself a good spot too. Well then, everyone, see you in a bit. <coughs> Both Big Shine and Tomitaki-san gave their farewells and disappeared into the crowd. <coughs> that was fun. I wish both of you in the best of your endeavors. <coughs> now, shall we be off? Yeah, might as well go see Rika-chan's charming figure. Let's go. Yeah. Huh? Where is Rena? Oh, what are you doing? Keiji kun Michan, save me! <clears throat> Since she was carrying such a ridiculously large stuffed animal, she was being carried off by the flow of people. What is she doing? She must have her hands full taking care of that bear. So I'll leave Renichan in your care, Keiji kun Keichan, I have my hands full taking care of Satoko. <coughs> <coughs> Who would want to to be looked after by you, Mion san? Mion san? Please don't do pull on my arm. Before losing sight of me on, I grabbed the back of Rena's collar. <laughs> Kate, you could not there. Don't grab me there. Always so bossy. Where can I grab then? <laughs> uh, 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 how? I didn't feel ashamed of at all. Rena was ashamed enough for the both of us. I grabbed onto Rena's hand and dashed after Mion and the others. We're gonna be late. Let's hurry up. Yeah! Where's the scary shit? I hadn't realized Rena's hand was so delicate. Maybe she needed a bit more exercise and nutrition? That wasn't what I meant. Not at all. My ears burned. I tried to keep calm. I repeated the phrase, Keep it together, Keiichi my body in my head. But it didn't look like I would be anytime soon. I really didn't want Rena to see my face right then, so I pushed myself onwards, dragging her along without fo looking back even once. <clears throat> there was already a huge group of people gathered at the altar in front of the shrine. The fire at the altar made it bright as midday and just as hot. There was a pile of futons warded with sacrificing ra sacrificed rope in front of the altar. 
Come to think of it, they did say it was a festival where they brought something with cotton and futons. <coughs> Keiichi-san! Rena-san! We're over here! Satoko waved her hand in the, front of the in the front row. Ah, sorry, sorry! Making our way through the mass of people, we reached the spot they saved. How was it? Were you able to have a little excitement with Rena? You punk! So that's what your plans wa plan was. Instead of replying, Neon gave a perse perverse grin. How was it, Rena? Was Kei-san's big ha hand bigger than you thought it would be? Ah! <coughs> Ow! <coughs> Rena turned bright red, puffs the uh, puffs of uh, the. Rena turned bright red, puffs of steam shooting out of her, shooting out of her. I heard something slice through the air and turned around to see Mion on the ground with a welt on her face. Mion, when were you hit? Between the ha and the O of her how, I think. Rena, it's not good to punch your friends to hide your embarrassment. I didn't hit her. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Thump! The thunderous beat of the drum echoed, silencing the crowd. You must be quiet. It's beginning. The scary music's already started. It was a solemn ritual. <clears throat> Rikijan entered dressed as a shrine maiden, followed by members of the municipal committee. The elders all looked at Rikijan and they cl claps, clasped their hands in praise. The only thing allow allowed to disturb the profound silence was the flash from Tomitaki-san's camera. <clears throat> What's this big thing Rikijan's holding? A hoe that's used for this festival. It's a sacred farming tool that only the Shrine Maiden may touch. It's, it was an awkward shape for a piece of farm equipment. Not uncommon for something used in rituals. After reciting a Shinto prayer, Rikuchan approached the f a pile of futons gathered at the altar. She swung the hoe skillfully, plowing it into the futons. Each and every little movement of the performance probably had to be done in a certain way. Without a doubt, this was a ritual. What's next? Airing out futons? She's purifying futons that absorbed illness from people over the winter. So when Keichan said airing out futons, he wasn't completely wrong. Rikuchan's face is already dripping with sweat. That hoe was probably pretty heavy. She staggered to side to side with the momentum of each swing. So Togo looked on, silently lending her support. Worried? Rikuchan practiced every single day with the mochi hammer. She will certainly prevail. <clears throat> Sudoku's hands were sweaty, and whatever Rikuchan started to sway a little, she held her breath. Why wasn't Mion a candidate to be the Shrine Maiden? It feels wrong having Rikuchan swing something around so heavy. If I'd do it if they asked me, you know. <clears throat> and, well, it's not something just anyone could do. That's true. Shrine Maidens need to be pure, after all. <coughs> Neon drove her elbow into my side. I was asking for it. Let's be honest. With the thud of the big drum, Rikachan gave a solemn bow, bow, and descended from the altar. That triggered a round of generous applause. After the Shinto priest had raised the cleansed futons like a portable altar, all the spectators stood up. Following after the priest, we all marched on to him on a, at a moderate pace. I'm gonna put the shit in the fucking river now. They descended the shrine's giant stairs in a line. What's happening now? Watching the futons in the river? <laughs> Watanagashi means sudden caught in the drift, you know. Oh. The procession continued right up to the bank of the stream. Is that all cotton? The, a fire was stoked high and it was bright as day here too. People started crowding around it and clamoring. <clears throat> Alright, get in line. Line up, Keichikun. I wondered what was up. Maybe we'd get some holy wine? <coughs> Red and white bean buns? <coughs> it's not food. <coughs> I said it was cotton. <coughs> ah, but of course. They didn't call it the Watanagashi for nothing. I finally understood. The municipal committee members pulled out the cotton from inside the futons and balled it up in mochi, handing it like mochi and handed it out to people. Renan dove into the line and brought out some for the me for me as well. Then we proceeded to the bank of the stream. Since it's your fear, it's time, Keichigun, just copy what I do. 
She held the con in her right hand and, waving her hand as to purify it, she touched it on her forehead, chest, navel, and both thighs. You do this three times and silently give thanks to Oyashiro-sama. Oyashiro-sama? What's that? The name of the shrine's god? Yes, it's a guardian de It's the guardian deity of Hinamizawa. It brings about both miracles and curses. So you must be sure to show respect. <laughs> that sounded like a pretty frightening god. But well, when in Rome, I was officially a resident of Hinamizawa now after all. Doing as Rena showed me, I touched the cotton over myself three times. Thank you, Oy Oyashiro-sama. Thank you, Oyashiro-sama. Thank you, Oyashiro-sama. This way, all the evil that possesses you is sucked out by the cotton. Then you let it gently adrift away into the stream and you're done. Together, Ren and I set our pieces of cotton afloat on the surface of the water. The flow of flowers of cotton blooming in, uh, in the water had sucked out all the evil flaster, uh, festering in Amazawa and drifted off, disappearing into the distance. It was wonderful, like floating lanterns festivals I've see, I'd seen on TV. The best part, though, was the feeling like the rite of passage had made me a true resident of Hinamizawa. Is it over? This might be the end of the, the episode, actually. I might be. Maybe. 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 Let's see. Tips? Tips? No, it's not done yet. Wow, okay. Almost an hour. Uh, while staring off into the stream, I somehow got separated from Rena. I wasn't very lonely, though. I know this place now. This is where I live. My home. It's probably better if I just stay here instead of wandering around aimlessly. Someone would surely find me while I was enjoying the evening breeze. I heard a familiar voice. <coughs> it was Tomitaki-san's. <coughs> I headed towards it. How'd it go, Tomitaki-san? Were you able to get some good shots? Yeah, fortunately. Tomitaki-san was with a girl. It felt a little like I was intruding. How was it, Keiichi-kun? Did you enjoy the festival? From the way she spoke, it seems like she was a resident of Hinamizawa. I really should try harder to remember people's faces here. What was her name? Uh, well, um, it was fun. My face must have given away how desperately I was trying to remember her name because she gave a lighthearted chuckle. <clears throat> it's probably because it hasn't been long since you moved here. It's pretty hard to believe seeing how friendly you've gotten with the other kids. If that's how it looked, it was probably all thanks to Rena and Mion. Perhaps you feel more like a resident of Hinamizawa after taking part of the festival today. Mmm, I wonder about that. Oh, that's not like you. I had tried to get used to... I had, I had tried to get used to Hinamizawa. But there were still plenty of things I didn't know. The faces of people I'd met, for example. Things like that that happened... Uh, well, things that ha happened in the past as well. Oh. You're feeling left out because of something like that? It's not so much as feeling left out. It's just I'm not sure how to say it. The incident at the dam construction site. The fighting over it and other conflicts. That terrible incident they pretended they didn't even know about whenever I brought it up. Even though I was in the past as someone living in Hinamizawa, it wasn't wrong to want to know about the, how, about the good and bad that happened here. <clears throat> if it will put you at ease, then I'll tell you everything I know. Tomitaki-san's smile made me even more relieved than I'd ever been. It was hard to think of what to ask when someone said, Ask me anything, though. <clears throat> even when there was so much I wanted to ask. <clears throat> then, could you tell me about what happened when the dam was being constructed? There was a big incident when Hinamizawa was going to be submerged, right? I think the locals would be more knowledgeable about the dam than I am. Well, if you don't mind, I'll tell you what I know. It's only what I read in the newspaper, though. Tomodakasan's eyes entered an unfocused gaze as he searched through his memory. Then he spoke. We're almost about to hit an hour. GG. The decision to start the dam project was finalized seven or eight years ago. I heard it was next. To, it was next. It was the next major project for Kurobe. There was the there was three major issues in Japan at the time: improving inter-island transportation infrastructure, meeting the higher demand for electricity and flood control. There was that boom of dam building to the massive economic stimulus they provided on top of generating electricity and flood control. Hinamizawa had a... The, in, had a... what? Hinamizawa had a, the right conditions... had a... I'm just gonna read that as had the right conditions to support dam construction, so it was singled out. 
The dam reservoir would have covered quite a lot, of course, uh, of ground when it was completed. The entire area right up to Ya... Yagauchi was upstream, uh, if, well, the entire area right up to Yagauchi was upstream, uh, way upstream, would be underwater. Why do you keep reading it as was? But, why did they have to pick a populated area like Hinamizawa? Couldn't they have just instead picked a place where nobody lives? Hmm, I'm not really sure why. I heard that it was just the right terrain for building a dam. Of course, there were protests, protests here in Hinamizawa. rika had said there was a, a battle from the choice of words that I had to guess had turned violent. There was a trial, and it was even brought up to before the National Diet. It was covered in the Tokyo newspapers, too. Mian had told me about that as well. I'm sure every resident of Hinamizawa had united to fight together. The feeling of solidarity found here, which could not be expressed properly with mere words, was likely brought about by that battle. As a result, bribery and scandals were brought to light. As things got more and more complicated, they eventually halted construction. If I wanted to know, now is my only chance to ask. <clears throat> it was certainly a bizarre incident that boys my age would be curious about. It felt a little shame. I felt a little shame from the fact that I was petty enough to have my curiosity piqued by Ren and Mion's refusal to talk about the event. But I figured I might as well ask since I had the chance. Just so I could stop thinking about it so much. So, there was a dismemberment, right? There was. I, I happened to be here in Inamizawa at the time. So I remember it well. Tomidaki-san's answer was nonchalant in contrast to my hesitantly forced out question. <coughs> it was about this time, four years ago. It was the day after of the Watanagashi, if I recall correctly. Debate on whether to continue construction on the dam was in disarray. Scandal after scandal rocked the proje project near the end. The incident that was the final nail in the coffin for the dam project. Oh, wait, sorry for that. The fight, the, oh, a fight in the, at the dam construction site ended in the victim being murdered. Fearing prosecution, the six assailants divided their remains into six pieces and each hid one. Five of the six criminals turned themselves in out of guilt, but one was still on the run. <clears throat> the right arm he'd hit and had yet to be found. The major details lined up with what was in the tabloid I'd read earlier. It certainly was a tragic incident, but it wasn't so terrible that Rena and Mion needed to hide it from me. I guess they didn't want to someone just who just moved here to have a negative impression of Hinamizawa. I felt grateful for having friends who worried so much about me, as well as shame for still being so interested in it. Oh boy, if you knew. It was near the end of all the trouble with the dam, you see. So everyone was saying that it was Oyashiro-sama's curse. Oyashiro-sama's curse, huh? Oyashiro-sama was the name of the god of the shrine in that held the festival today, if I recalled correctly. I see. The guardian deity rained divine punishment down on the evil dam construction for trying to flood Hinamizawa. Apparently the younger ones didn't think so. But it seemed the elderly in the village never doubted that it was Oyashiro-sama's curse. The woman with Tomidaki-san said with a mischievous chuckle. Tomidaki-san began laughing with her. It was so infectious I ended up laughing as well. But I wonder about that now. There were quite a few, I think. Amongst the youth, too. A few what? <coughs> People who believe... In Oyashira Sama's curse. <clears throat> the woman's lips were still curled into a smile, but her expression turned to stern. Then after that, it continued every year. <clears throat> Always around this time. Continued? What continued? Ko Tomidaki-san paused for a second as if to build up some suspense. Then he whispered to me as if someone might have been listening. Every year on the day of Watanagashi, somebody dies. The year following the dismemberment, on the day of the Watanagashi, a man from Inamizawa, Inamizawa who had supported the dam fell off a cliff overlooking some rapids and died while he was on vacation. <coughs> Unfortunately for his wife, the body was never recovered. He supported the dam construction even though he lived in Hinamizawa. At the time, there were whispers among the aliens saying that it was Oyashira Sama's curse. The woman chuckled mischievously again. Then the next year, the night of the Watanagashi. The shrine's Shinto priest died suddenly from an unknown illness. His wife drowned herself in a bog that night. The shrine's Shinto priest, you mean he was from the shrine here? The woman nodded. There was a rumor amongst the villagers that they weren't able to quell Ishimasama's anger. <coughs> then the year after that, 
again on the right of the on the night of the Watanagashi. They discovered the battered body of a local housewife. <coughs> housewife? <coughs> Up until now, all these mysterious deaths were people involved with the dam or had connections with Oshiro-sama. With that in mind, could the housewife have been involved in some way too? <coughs> exactly. <coughs> the woman sti stated shyly, or slyly, no, it was more menacingly. One of the victim's relatives, you see, was connected to the younger brother of the dam, who's a supporter, who fell to his death two years ago. <coughs> the, young, uh, the younger brother is still alive, as it seems. But it did bother him quite a bit, so he moved to the neighboring town. So for a while, I stood there with my mouth agape. <coughs> the battle over the dam construction, Hinamazawa's future at stake, and the murder at the center of it all. That was all I knew, and that was all I wanted to ask about. But that wasn't all there was to the story. Homicide. Body disposal. Accidental deaths. Terminal illness. Suicide. Fatal beatings. I'm, I'm a pretty level-headed person. I don't really want to believe in curses, but the Freakish deaths happened, but the freakish deaths happened every year on the day of the Watanagashi, and all of them were rela related to the dam construction. It was easy to dismiss each of them as coincidences by themselves, but when you put them all together, dismissing all of them as coincident would just then defy logic. <coughs> I don't believe in curses. But every single year on the day of the Watanagashi, someone or something makes it happen without fail. The woman chuckled again as if she picked up on what, was, what I was thinking. It felt like she was saying, being, saying maybe there was, maybe we threatened him, stuff like that. I felt embarrassed at being read so easily. I pressed Omitaki-san to continue, a bit of impatience and an irritating, irritation in my tone. Then? So someone died the next year, right? Who was it that time? I wonder, who do you think, Keiichi-kun? Th the hell? The way he said it didn't agree with me. The sarcastic tone t ticked me off. Don't avoid the question, I'm serious here. H hey, calm down, Keiichi-kun. I realized that he, when he tried to calm me down that I had been panicked. We aren't trying to avoid the question, Keiichi-kun. It's just when you say the next year, that's... This year. That's today. Her face is making me scared. <laughs> I asked for this. <laughs> we, were we were having so much fun just 40 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago. We were having a party. <laughs> we were having a goddamn swell time. <laughs> Why did I ask for this? That girl's face is fucking scaring me. What if they're about to kill me? What if they just kill me right now? When she hesitated to say it, Tomodaki-san finished for her. I broke out into cold sweat. I didn't really like the direction that was he this was headed. Nobody wants to speak of it, but they all think it's going to happen again tonight. <clears throat> the festival was so cheerful, though. Well, the victim last year, the housewife, she was a non-believer. It turns out she didn't even attend the Watanagashi festival. There's rumor going around that if you didn't participate in the festival, you would incur Yashima's wrath. Or Yashiro-sama's wrath. Where's my mouse? There it is, you fuck. Did, did you, didn't did you hear anything about this, Keiichi-kun? I never even heard a whisper of that rumor. Th then the reason everyone was at the festival was they were afraid of the curse? I would figured that must have been the reason. There were a lot more people at the Watanagashi than usual. I guess everyone was just afraid is all. Oh yeah, Shinra-sama's curse. I couldn't utter a single word. In this modern day age. Where we've made progress in all scientific fields. Shedding light on the unknown and misunderstood. Where black and white television had been eradicated and we've sent men to the moon. Even with all of our accomplishments, this can still exist in modern society? Tons of inundations were sent out to neighbor, neighboring towns, youth groups, to help pay, pad the numbers. But after that string of events, few decided to join. 
The municipal committee members were complaining about how hard it was to gather participants. Also, the police are treating each case as isolated. They don't believe they're connected. They're trying to keep it quiet, so it's all plainclothes officers. It finally began to dawn on me why Brenda and Mion were reluctant to talk. If nothing happened during this Watanagashi, everything would have been over with it, and I'd n be none the wiser. If nothing happened, all would be well. In that case, it would all end up being just crazy talk. <clears throat> it, I should have just pretended like I knew nothing from the beginning. Then they wouldn't have had to act like nothing happened. And we would have all gone back to life as usual. Maybe it was just too much for him after all. The woman ran her fingers through her hair as she sighed. N no, it wasn't. Not at all. I had tried to act strong, but just served to emphasize, emphasize how much of the how much the information had unsettled me. <coughs> After seeing how I looked, Tommy Daxon appeared to regret saying anything. <coughs> Letting out a sigh, he then spoke, forcing an awkward, upbeat demeanor. Keichikun, surely you don't believe in such things as curses. Well, no. If the cause of all this of all the, of all the crimes were unknown, but the perpetrators and their methods all mysteries, then I would think it's the work of the curse. But that's not how things are in reality. The police are investigating the evidence and susp suspects to uncover the truth. Hearing him say police made me feel a lot better. It was perfect for repelling the word curse. The first one, the dismemberment, for example. Told, I told you, didn't I? All but one of the perpetrators were arrested. It's only a matter of time for the last one. The motive turned out to have been an argument they had while intoxicated. That's no curse. Don't you agree? That was true. If I didn't, if it didn't happen on the day of the Watanagashi, then I wouldn't think it was related to the curse at all. The accidental death of the man who supported the dam is the same. He was in a position that made others hate him. The police made a point of investigation, investigating from that angle. They concluded it was an accident, not foul play. But they both happened on the day of the festival, right? <laughs> Just think about it, Keichigun. Do you think people with a lot of enemies here in Hinamizawa could participate easily in a local festival? It would be especially hard for them to be around during the Watanagashi. So they probably let Hinamizawa in, left in, Hinamizawa intentionally around this time of year to travel, don't you think? It wasn't a very clear explanation, but I sort of understood what Tomitake-san was getting at. So I pressed on earnestly asking for more questions so I could convince myself. Then Tomitake-san, what about the priest who died after that? The one with the unknown illness. That also happened on the day of the festival. It's even easier to explain what happened to the Shinto priest. The Watanagashi is a really big event that happens once a year. It probably from all it's all all the built up stress. Or it may have been because of the pre existing condition. But it's an it was an unknown illness. It's hard to believe something with an unknown cause could exist all all uh, well could ex exist with all our advances in medicine. I don't know. There's a lot of shit dude. Cancer dude cancer. It was just an exaggeration. Rumors making rumors. Anyone would get worked up after ha uh, uh, over having incidents happen two years in a row. The sudden death is quite unnatural, though. Of course, the police ordered an autopsy before the strange, because of the strange way he died. But there wasn't enough for them to open a full investigation, you know? Turns out he was, it was just sudden death due to illness. The priest's wife commuted, committed suicide, correct? What about that? I believe I already explained that. Everyone was shaken by the incidents happening for a third time this year. For a third year. For tho those who are of strong faith were quick to believe it was the work of the curse. Of course, that included the priest's wife. Apparently they found a suicide note that said something like, My death will quell o Oyashiro-sama's anger. Well, then how about the next incident with the housewife? That happened on the day of the Watanagashi too. The perpetrator had already been caught and is in the end the case is closed. Turns out it was just some nut job trying to continue the legacy of the Hinamizawa curse. The, then then how about the incident the next year? Oh, uh, oh yeah, this year is the next year. Tommy Zaxon gave a hearty laugh. Nothing will happen. Not this year. There was never a curse to begin with. It's just that of a group of people believed it was an explanation for a string of coincidences. My internal computer finally got itself back onto track. I felt a bit embarrassed by how childish I'd become after losing control and panicking. I can see very clearly now that Keijikun really does love Hinamizawa. Even if Oyashiro-san's curse actually did exist. 
Keiichi Kun couldn't bring himself to believe that such a thing existed. I felt very relieved. I should probably just forget about everything I heard tonight. I'll go meet Rena and Mion tomorrow with the same smile as always. They'll probably also like tonight to end without incident, so they can continue on tomorrow without having worried me. Perhaps seeing my change in attitude, the woman who had been listening and stretched as she got sh got up from the rock she was sitting on. Well then, I should be getting back. Goodness, I think I may have gotten a bit uh, that got that may have gone a bit on a bit too long. There are so few people compared to the crowd from before. I could only make out a few groups of families conjoining the cool evening air. I looked at my watch. It seemed we'd talked for a better part of an hour. Yep. Didn't you come along with your friends, Keiichi-kun? Not going to look for them? Oh, yeah. They might be looking for me. <laughs> You're quite the scoundrel making the girls look for you. See you, Keiichi-kun. Have a nice night. You too, Jiro-san. I'll see you in a bit later. I'll see you in a bit later. Uh, Tomidaka-san seemed to be quite the scoundrel himself, so his name is Jiro. After dusting off, uh, dusting off her backside, she disappeared in the crowd of people still busy cleaning up the temple grounds. It's not over! Damn it. <gasps> Keiji-kun! So sorry. In her place, Rena came running, running over. I could see all the others behind her. Speak of the devil. My bad, Keichan. We got so caught up in our discussion. I had completely forgot about them, uh, about the, uh, them while caught up in my own conversation, so we were even. <coughs> my, so Tommy Taki was with you. This works out perfectly. We still need to settle the shooting gallery competition. Ah, th that's right. So I guess I'm gonna end up dead last. What about Rika-chan? She didn't go. Poor boy. In the end, after my dramatic victory, Rika-chan was the last challenger, but there weren't many targets left. Thought so. The one remaining were all tiny and difficult to hit. She did take her aim and aim, but all three shots completely missed. She was the uh, to end up sharing the loser's crown with Tomi Takasan. However, she did her little mew and cry in front of the owner, and he turned to mush instantly. She was giving a pack of gum as a consolation prize. That's cheating. Her methods were a bit audacious, but she did avoid being the loser rather magnificently. Come to think of it, Rikuchan is quite the trickster. I have no idea what Keiichi is talking about. Now then, it's decided that Tomitake is dead last. Everyone cheered and applauded. Tomitake-san smiled wryly, slightly bewildered. So, Toby Daxon, are you ready? Penalty time! Huh? Oh, I completely forgot about that. You're too naive, Toby Daxon. This is why our club can never lose. Whoa, I right-clicked by accident. Whoops. Mion felt the, uh, rolled out a felt-tip marker, marker from her box. Pocket. Oh, it's that. Show him some mercy, Mion. A at least use a washable marker. A permanent one is too harsh. Uh, it's just, it just has to be permanent. It comes off when you do the laundry anyway. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Please take it easy on me. <laughs> All of us pinned his arms behind his back and Mion approached him and with the marker in one hand. And, squip, squip, squip. But she didn't write on Tomodaka's face, she wrote on the shirt he was wearing. You'd better have your big break this year, Mion. Rena took, uh, uh, took up the marker next. Show me your photos next time, okay? Rena. It was a little heartwarming and I just had to laugh. Ha! This is more like a farewell card than a penalty. <laughs> I'm not as soft as the rest. I'll make sure this is a proper penalty. She draws a dick. Haha, <laughs> dead last. Satoko. Try harder next time. Rika. Here you go, Keishi-san. I couldn't decide what to write, but based on what the kind of penalty it was, this is probably the most appropriate. Come back and play again. Keiichi. Tomodaka-san was silent the entire time. At first he was quite bewildered, but now he had a different look on his face. He was one of us. One of our boys. So I have to wear this all the way back to Tokyo as part of the penalty? <laughs> I'm tearing up myself. This is some true nigga shit. Of course, you better wear it all the way home. 
<laughs> you could wear it when you come back. It would be nice. He appeared deeply moved. Embarrassed, embarrassment mixed with a wealth, uh, a wealth of other emotions made him turn a bright red. <clears throat> Understood. I'll wear this the next time I come here. I promise. That's our boy. The scary shit's all gone into gossip weed again. <laughs> Everyone cheated and applauded. It was the finest party gift possible for a buddy heading out tonight. I saw the woman who was with Tomitaki-san standing near the festival grounds. It seemed Tomitaki-san noticed her too and knew it was time to leave. Seems like your guest is waiting. Isn't it about time? Hmm. Well, I didn't mean to open up the log. Whoops. Yeah, that's certainly how it seems. <laughs> Tommy Dachshund headed off towards her and seemed to apologize for making her wait. We all shouted tough at Tommy Dachshund. Each time we did, he looked back and waved his hand. Eventually, he faded into the darkness of the night, out of sight. It was quite the casual farewell. This wasn't the first time any of us had seen someone off. They had done the same thing many times before. <clears throat> He's gone. Well, it's about time we take off, too. Rikishana had to stay behind with the other committee members since they were having a meeting, so Toko was tagging along with her. Whoop, I didn't mean to right-click again. I headed back home with the usual suspects. It's an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half, man. The walk back was quite lively, with talks of the day, day's war stories. Should have done this, should have done that, that kind of stuff. I didn't mean for this episode to be this long. I didn't think Watanagashi was going to last this long. Rena and I parted ways with Mion and then it was just the two of us. Then we got to my house and I parted ways with Rena as well. It's already pretty late. Are you alright by yourself? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I'm, it's close, so I'm going to run too. If you run into some weirdo, just yell. If, if someone does come, will you come and save me? Maybe? Maybe? If I hear you. Oh, okay. I'll scream loud enough so you can hear me. Merrily spinning her arms around at high speed, Rena dashed off. She was fine in that mode. Not even an adult could stand against her. Rena's cheerful presence disappeared and it finally became quiet again. The curse that not a single person even whispered about. The more I learned about it tonight, the more unsettling it became. I didn't show any of it didn't show on any of their faces, but they were probably all quite concerned about it as well. But if nothing happens tonight, then all it all ends up being just crazy talk. Nothing will happen. Nothing bad. Nothing at all. What's wrong, Keiji? Why are you standing in a place like that? Come inside. You'll catch a cold. It was my mom. Did you go, Mom? To the Watanagashi Festival? In the end, your father didn't wake up. So I missed it. A little disappointing. Mom stuck her tongue out with a bit of an embarrassed look on her face. Bleh. That's the end. This better be the end of the fucking chapter. Because it's about to hit ha an hour and a half. And I don't think I've ever had a video. No. I have had videos over an hour and a half. The Danganronpa episodes. I haven't had a Higurashi episode. Oh my god, there are so many tips! Shit. Um. Look, okay. This episode, we're not doing the tips. In the next episode, we'll do the new tips and the tips for the next episode, probably if there's not that many and if that episode isn't as long. But this episode's already almost an hour and a half, and I don't want to make it longer, uh, especially for people who don't like super long videos. So thank you guys for watching in the next episode of Higurashi no Naku Kodoni when they cry. Dark shit is probably going to happen, because that's just how it seems like it's going now. Because we're, it got really sweet, then it got really dark, then it got really sweet, then it got really dark, then it got really sweet. So... You never know. We'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching. Scatter PF may be out. See you guys next time.